Okay, the previous video we did cosine and sine of 60, and the way we did it was we did a 30, 60, 90 right triangle. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. Okay. So now I guess we'll look at um, this, this problem right here, where it says find cosine and sine of 30 degrees. And the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to zoom way in on their, their triangle. Okay? okay? And I'm going to draw approximately 30 degrees. And I'll know, I know how I can figure it out. I'll, I'll show you later how I knew how to draw this, but um, here, let's do it even a little bit thicker. So there we go. That is a right triangle. Here's the point on the unit circle. And we want to figure out what the coordinates are of this point. Assuming that this little angle right here is 30 degrees. Okay? Okay. Now, before we go in there and do that, I'm going to give you a little bit of a hint. And the little bit of a hint is that, remember last time we looked at an equilateral triangle? Oh, uh, kind of. So we're going to look at an equilateral triangle turned on its side. And we're not going to look at the equilateral triangle necessarily, but we're going to look at the top half of the equilateral triangle. Okay? Okay. And we're going to say that all the side lengths of the equilateral triangle are 1. Okay. Okay. And this is a right angle. Okay? Okay. So now it's your turn. Tell me what the other two angles of the right angle, of the right triangle are. So you say the height is 0 0.5. Mm -hmm. How do you know that? It's half. Yes. And, uh, this is some length. We don't know. Let's call it X. I like that letter. Well, it's actually going to be X on the graph, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, what's this angle here? 60. Be careful. 30. What's this angle? 60. The top angle is 60, and the bottom angle is 30. Because you're cutting it. Right. Okay. So now... Let's make some space. Um, what is the Pythagorean theorem for this triangle? What's it say? Um, What's the hypotenuse? The hypotenuse is this one. One. Okay, and what are the other two sides? 0.5 and x. Okay, so here, I'm going to write it out for you. x squared plus 0 0.5 squared equals 1. Okay? Um. Okay, 0 0.5 squared is what? Um. Zero point five squared. Um, 0 0.25. Okay, I'm going to write that as one-fourth, all right? Okay. Because you'll see why. Okay, what's next? What's next? Um... What is next? We're solving for x, right? Mm-hmm. So I gotta get x by itself. Okay. Minus one fourth minus one fourth. Okay. So x squared equals three fourths. Three fourths. Okay. Square root time. Ready? Dun, dun, dun. Square root of 3 fourths is really the square root of 3 over the square root of 4. Mm -hmm. What's x? x? x is? Oh, the square root of 3 over 2. Okay, alright. So now we can go back to our triangle and we can say, alright, this thing right here is root 3 over 2. 
And then, of course, we already had that side labeled as 0 0.5. Okay. okay. Now, let's go back to the circle. Now, remember, all I did was I drew exactly the same triangle that we just drew, only I drew it on the unit circle. Okay. Okay. So, this distance right here is one half, or 0 0.5. Okay. And this distance right here is root 3 over 2. That's what we just figured out. Okay. Okay. So now, this xy coordinate, what's the x coordinate? Well, um, how far do I go this way? Square root of 3 over 2. Okay. Is it always the square root of 3 over 2? It is when it's either going to be 30 or 60. Okay. okay. Uh, square root of 3 over 2, and then the y coordinate is what? 1 half. 1 half. Notice also... Is this how it always is, too? So, well, let's look at the other, the other one that we just did uh, in the previous video. That was this triangle, right? Now, this triangle is, is this exact same triangle? congruent to the previous triangle, but the x and the y are swapped. So here, the x is going to be 1 half, and the y is going to be root 3 over 2. Okay. Okay? Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, good. So now you are solid on 30 degrees and 60 degrees. Okay. Okay? Uh, well, in that case, we might as well do one more because, um, and you'll see why, we might as well do this one more. Um, now, what about 120 degrees? Where is 120 degrees? Uh. So think about this. I'll show you. Um, there's what, if this, this angle is 90, this is 180. Right, this is 180. So 120 is going to be something like this. Yep. Well, the top, there we go. Okay. And how do we know, actually? So this, this triangle that I'm drawing, here, I'll draw it with thicker, I'll draw it with thicker, uh, thicker marker. Yeah. It almost this one. This triangle, if I want 120 degrees, well, I can take 90 degrees is taken up by this right angle. Okay. Which leaves 30 right here. Okay. And now we already did a 30, 60, 90 right triangle. We did it when we did this triangle, right? Yes. Okay. So now you can just tell me from what we did already how long each side is. So how long, how long is this side? Uh, 0 0.5. Okay, but I'm actually gonna write it as negative one half because oh, the, if you look, we're going to the left. Right, we're going to the left of the y-axis, so that's actually negative one half, mm -hmm. right? Yes. And then how, how far is this distance? One. One. Two. So how high was this other? We had another 30, 60, 90 right here. Right? Remember? How high was it? We had a 30, 60, 90 over here. The hypotenuse is one. The base is one half. How high up and down is this? It's the only other number we've been running into. Uh, three halves. Or... Square root of 3 over 2. Square root of 3 over 2. So you, you, you asked me, like, is it always the square root of 3 over 2? So it looks like in this case it is. So uh, this point right here, if I want the x-coordinate, it's negative 1 half. And the y-coordinate is root 3 over 2. Okay? Okay. Now, on the unit circle, the x-coordinate is what? Cosine or sine? Uh, cosine. Cosine of 120. And this thing right here is sine. Okay. Of 120. All right? So going back, just, just to put together everything that we did, um, these right here, 
uh, root 3 over 2 and 1 half. That is cosine of 30, comma, sine okay. of 30. And negative 1 half, comma, root 3 over 2 is cosine of 120, sine of 120. And in the other video, we did cosine of 60, sine of 60. Okay. Okay.